me tell you about the job. Oh, my God. I got a phone call from Mrs. Hatfield down the street. Yeah. She goes, buddy, I got skunks in my yard. You got to come over here and get the skunks out. I thought to my, I am no exterminator. I am a detective. I am a private dick in this area. Now, I have to go, uh, believe me, I had to go surveil skunks last night. Oh, my goodness. And one of them, he sprayed me. He sprayed me. I had to go take a tomato bath. Oh, my, I stunk. I stunk. It was disgusting. Oh, for goodness sakes. Then I get another call. Oh, yeah, from Mrs. McIntosh. Buddy, buddy, there's children in my backyard. I don't want them running in my backyard. All right, all right, Mrs. McIntosh, I'll be right down. I go to Mrs. McIntosh's house. I say to the children, Mrs. McIntosh doesn't want any children on her property. You have to go home. You cannot be on her property. Well, I settled that out all right. That was okay. Ring, 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 another phone call. All hours of the night. Oh, my goodness. That contract I did was 24 hours a day surveillance. I haven't slept in weeks. Look at me. I look disgusting. I'm so tired. Oh, my God. I could sit here and sleep for at least a day or two. And now I keep running and running and running. It is not hard being a private detective. It is not hard. It is hard to be surveillance. I'm exhausted. I'm just exhausted. And these people don't let up. You know, you would think what they were giving me ten dollars a week. All of a sudden now I'm running my rear right end all over the neighborhood. Oh my I don't know what I did. And I locked my own self into a year contract. A year contract! Oh my goodness! I don't know how much I could keep up. I, you know, I asked a couple of my buddies. I said, listen, you wanna help? Well, you know what they said? How much you gonna pay us? Yeah, you know what? Seriously. Now I'm willing to give them some money. I'm not giving them all of my money. But no, no, it's not good enough. They want ten dollars an hour too. I can't afford that. I cannot afford that. No. And I, I, and now, and now, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. So I had to ask Bartholomew. I gave him five bucks an hour. It's more than the three he's making. <laughs> but look at me. Don't I look washed out? Don't I look washed out? I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted from all this running around all over the neighborhood getting sprayed by a skunk. Oh, it's disgusting. Then the other night, let me tell you the other story. I'm walking in the neighbor's backyard, you know, because they're paying me now. So there's a big black bear, and he comes running through the backyard. Now, I am little. I'm not stupid, though. So I looked at that big black bear. He looked at me, and he said, how you doing, buddy? I said, I'm all doing all right. I said, you need to leave this backyard because I'm not leaving. I go, well, then enjoy yourself because I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, my. Did you think I'd get into any kind of argument with him? That was not going to happen. Not going to happen. So then I see the turkeys across the street. I was talking to some of the turkeys. I asked one of them if they'd like to join me in surveillance. And you know what he goes? Ah, shut up. I can't be bothered with that blah, 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 all day long. That would be in my ear. That would be irritating. So I had to rethink that for a minute. Yeah, I did. So let me tell you what happened with Bartholomew. First night out, now he's under my wing, naturally, naturally. You know, he's learning from the general, the best. But all of a sudden, he sees something in the bushes, okay? This is him, this dumb doofus that he is. Instead of being quiet, sneaking up like a cat on the prowl. Not him, screaming down the street. Buddy! Buddy, I got something better here! Buddy! Buddy! Oh, for good! Wakes up the whole entire neighborhood. Yeah, wakes up the whole... All of a sudden, you see the lights going on in the houses. Oh, my goodness! Well, whoever was in the bushes took off. They just took off. Now, here comes Bartholomew. dun da dun da dun da dun da dun As he's flipping down the street. I go, Bartholomew, what are you doing? What are you, do what are you screaming for, Bartholomew? There's no need to be screaming. We're supposed to be reconnaissance quiet. Quiet like a mouse. Don't say nothing. Just go after. Look. Pay attention. Him, the idiot. So this is the stuff I'm putting up with. I'm telling you right now. I'm getting really disgusted. Then he turns around and he says to me, Now, listen. I understand everybody's got to relieve themselves. I get it. He goes, Buddy, buddy, I have to go bathroom now. I have to go. I look at him and I say, just go to the bathroom for goodness sake. This is not rocket science. This is not rocket science. We are just surveilling the neighborhood. 
you have to go lift the leg, go lift the leg. He goes, no, I, I have to make the number two. I go, oh, for goodness, did you bring a bag? Do you have a bag to pick up that load? Oh, for God. And of course, no, I left my bags at home. So I don't have nothing right now. So hold it in, hold it in. Oh, for goodness sake. Then he goes to me, I want to walk home by myself to go get a bag. Would you walk home with me, buddy? Will you? Oh, for goodness sake. Here I am walking down the street. Here I am walking down the street to go to his house. I turn around and I tell him, you're in your own yard. Do your business. Do your business. Hurry up. Uh, and then again, 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 this is what I hear. Ooh. Ooh. He ain't eating enough fiber. That's for sure. He ain't eating enough fiber. He finally relieves himself. We go back out. We're going through the neighborhood. Then we see a criminal, a real criminal. I look at Bartholomew. Bartholomew looks at me. The criminal sees us. We start booking down the street, running, running, running. And let me tell you something, I'm a fast runner. I'm fast. And but Bartholomew's got longer legs. Bartholomew grabbed him by the leg. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it was not a criminal. Oh my goodness, you're not going to believe it. it was Officer O'Malley. He was going undercover. Oh my God, Bartholomew bit his ankle. You haven't, well, I'm home from the jail now. Yeah, I'm home. They locked him up for the night. I, I am so tired right now. I am going to take a nap. His mommy went to the jail. His mommy bailed him out. We, you know, we told Officer O'Malley what was going on. His mommy explained. I am so exhausted at this point, people. I'm so tired. I'm, look at me. I'm exhausted. And before I know it, that phone is going to ring again. And I'm going to have to go out. So I'm going to take a couple of Z's. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to sleep. And then I hope to goodness that phone don't ring that quick. But I'll talk to you all soon, my friends. And remember, this tired Bichon does love all of you. Bye-bye for now. Talk to you all soon. <laughs>